What if you saw something incredible and others did too, but you just couldn't explain it and you had no proof and some people refused to believe you? Well, when a story lies between fact and fiction, it becomes folklore. And that's what happened to some high school kids on spring break in 1977 in the small affluent town of Dover, Massachusetts. 17-year-old Bill Bartlett went out for the evening with two of his high school buddies. As he drove along Farm Street with the music blaring, Bartlett noticed something moving along a stone wall at the edge of the road. There, he caught a glimpse of a creature with an unusually round head, long spindly arms and fingers, a pale complexion, and glowing orange eyes. He turned the music down. Did you guys see that? See what, Billy? That thing next to the road. His friends turned to look, but they saw nothing and convinced Bartlett to turn the car around to get a better look. But when they returned, whatever he saw was gone. A few hours later, 15-year-old John Baxter was walking down Miller's Hill Road, about a mile from Farm Street. As he strolled under a street light, he noticed a small person coming towards him. But upon closer look, it wasn't a person at all, and whatever it was, ran into the woods. John chased after it into an open field. There, peering into the darkness, he saw the same odd figure clutching a tree. It wasn't human or like any animal he'd ever seen. Baxter hurried back to the road and ran straight home. He sketched what he had seen, and the image that he drew was very similar to the entity that Bill Bartlett claimed to have seen just a few hours earlier. Then, the following evening, young Abby Brabham and her boyfriend Will Tainter were driving along Springdale Avenue. Along the roadside, they saw a creature crawling on all fours with the same characteristics that Bill Bartlett and John Baxter had described, except that it had glowing green eyes. Once again, the elusive figure vanished before they could get a closer look. And that night, Abby made a sketch of her own. In the following days, word spread of the bizarre sightings all within the same area. Reporters swarmed over the town seeking answers. Authorities vouched for the credibility of the young witnesses. But when the hype finally settled down, no one could provide a satisfactory explanation and no definitive evidence ever surfaced. The creature was dubbed the Dover Demon by a young investigator named Lauren Coleman, and it hasn't been seen since. Its true identity still remains a mystery. But one thing is certain, all three witnesses made claims that were nearly identical, and to this day, they stand by their stories.